Hello everybody and welcome back to Lucky by Nature. So I did have some requests to build the hover skiff setup. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna need we're gonna need one foundation and of course uh, pretty much one of each thing except for the for the hatch frames. So right off the bat, you want to be centered to the skiff and. Where I found that this works perfect is by putting it right here to these little lines that go kind of diagonal, I guess. So as it widens, it's the first set. But I'll also show you from the rear here in a sec. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so looking at it from the back, as you can see, it's the third little line all right, and now we're gonna put the hatch frames, one to the right and then one to the left. And that uh, gives us more area in the front to put more turrets. And usually I start out my first turret right here along this uh, part of the hatch frame. But I'm not gonna go ahead and, and put them in yet because we still gotta put down our pillar. And you need to be careful because you don't want the pillar to go that far forward. You want it right at the edge. So right here is fine. All right, and now I need to get something. All right, so I needed a uh, ceiling. All you really need is just one. Boom, now we can put the other two hatch frames on top of that. And just make sure they're all the way forward. There we go, that's the one I left. So it basically mirrors the ones on the bottom. There we go, perfect. Now we can concentrate on the turrets and I usually start at the very top just because, uh, I don't know, it's my preference. And I try to put them as far forward as I can. Although, um, you know, they'll still be clear to shoot uh, whatever you're gonna be shooting because now they're ahead of the bottom row so this is nice and I, I like to try to put three or fit three within these two lines right here that were uh, standing between so three turrets should fit pretty well and I don't like to bunch them up too much because sometimes they don't actually work now this right here, this one's a little tricky and I don't know why it does that, but it does this to me every time. As you can see, there's a part in the center that I can't put one there. It won't allow me. So I end up putting at least three on the side. And now we are done at the bottom, at the top. Oh no, I, we still need at the bottom. I almost missed this side, guys. But as you can see, down at the bottom here, we can put one there, but let me put this one on the corner. And then I'll go ahead and put that one in the center. And I just wish I could put one up on the top, but you know, it is what it is. For, uh, for whatever reason this happens to me, uh, you might get lucky and be able to put one in. You know how this game is. But now we're going to put, I'm going to put at least two more on the side. There we go, and the last one. I think that's all I really need. Yep, looking pretty good. So now uh, I think uh, we are ready to put the generator down. But this is what we are looking like. Pretty good, pretty good. And you know, I've tried to put a another turret somewhere around here, but really, uh, I don't think it'll be able to shoot through just because everything's gonna be in the way. So I think, I mean, this is what I had uh, when I uh, went after the Spino. So you shouldn't need anything else. But you can try to put as many turrets as you want. But uh, for the generator, I try to put it to, uh, as far to the left right here as I can just to get it out of the way in case I need to come in and put some more bullets in but uh, as you saw on the last video I went ahead and just uh, I would turn on the the generator 
as quick as possible and then get back on the driver's seat. But there you go. This is pretty much it. This is all you need. And we are ready to start filling it up with uh, bullets. But before, of course, we do that, we need some gasoline, which I'm just going to steal some from this one. And now uh, once we put that gasoline in, of course you want to turn it on with no bullets, of course. You don't want to put the bullets yet. And then we're going to turn these babies on. Because we still need to change a few things here. But before we get too far, we need to change uh, the range to high. And we want to change it to only target uh, wild creatures. Of course, unless, you know, you're in PvP, then uh, you might want to target pretty much everything, just in case. This is what, basically, your awesome skiff will look like, guys. It's nice, pretty nice, huh? It's ready to rock and roll. And so what I'm going to be using this for is uh, some other missions and see how well it works. I do think that it's going to work really well on the one with the raptors. Uh, wherever, you know, they uh, run around in packs. I think that one's going to be fairly easy. You can probably do that one with uh, a lot of different things. But since we already have the skiff built, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the skiff. I mean, what do you guys think? Um, I think I might go ahead and try different things to see what the minimum is that you would need as far as dinos because I don't really think that the raptors are all that tough but I do need to test it out I don't want you guys to uh, end up with dead dinos so uh, so yeah I'll go ahead and try it out and then uh, we'll see what we got but uh, I think I'm gonna focus on the mission with the frog because I did find that one to be a little tough even on uh, on uh, the gamma. So, <laughs> oh crap! I'm still on the K mode. I was like, what the crap, dude? You're not uh, doing what you're supposed to. All right, guys. So that's it for me. So, uh, good luck with building your skiff. But uh, until next time, keep surviving.